Stepping up to the couch, it's Brian, who led the league last season in cracked screens. But with his new athletic case, it looks like that won't be the case. <laughs> Touchdown, Brian! Delaire is back deep for the Tigers. And we are underway in the PlayStation Fiesta Bowl. And it is Delaire out to the 20, out to the 25, past the 30, right up the middle. Clyde Edwards Alaire cutting all the way across the field. And he is taken down by Rashad Causey inside the 20. First down and 10 from the 16 of UCF on the ground is Nick Brissett. He'll reverse course. Brissett trying to pick up a block from his quarterback and he'll be banged out inside the four. Chance to review it. Exactly. Here's Burrow to throw for the first time. Gets out of trouble. And the pass is incomplete. Dumped it off the turf. Nate Evans had the pressure. Beyond to attempt the field goal. From 24 yards away. Snap and place to perfect. So too is the kick. Goal issues. <laughs> Fumbled three times in the first half in the championship game against Memphis. Only losing two of them. The throw to Mack. So we know he can throw, he can run, and we know he can catch. Great idea here from Josh Heupel. Or make you feel him in between the tackles. Here's Greg McCray. Trying the left side on for size. McCray, no problem. Touchdown. Picked up an excellent block from the wide receiver, Gabriel Davis. And UCF jumps out on top. <laughs> A wealth of talent. Riches everywhere you look. Jamar Chase on the receiving end from Joe Burrow. And a penalty. Seems like 10. Here's Burrow to throw. Steps up in a nice pocket. And a beautiful ball on the money to Justin Jefferson. First down yardage. They'll move the chains. Pressure coming. And it's picked off. It's Brandon Moore. Joe Burrow threw it right to him. but a really poor route from Derek Dillon outside Brandon Moore understanding the route short route Dillon doesn't get the depth doesn't get the separation and then Joe Burrow needs to understand what the coverage is it's two second down and eight for LSU across the middle it's a beautiful ball on the money to Stefan Sullivan for a game of 15 but up there getting a chance to go get it here comes some pressure for UCF they're gonna get there. Able to get home for the sack. And the ball comes out late. Randy Charlton, the true freshman from Miami. At the UCF 22. Burrow to throw. Now we'll take a shot. Lops one for Jefferson. He's got it. Touchdown. What a throw. What a catch. 22 for the score. Craig. And Mack will keep it. And the ball comes out. Turnover. LSU able to recover. It's Michael DeVinti. Devin White makes the play to force the ball out. And DeVinti, his seatmate on the airplane, able to recover the fumble. Mistake there. First down and 10 after the Burrow run. Looks to throw, and he was lucky he put that football away. Eric Mitchell was looking to take it away from him. Third down and seven, just across midfield. Here's some pressure from UCF. It's picked up nicely. Throw across the middle. Floated in there for Dillon. Down the sideline. Derek Dillon for the score. A play that looked like nothing turns into something. A 49-yard touchdown. And LSU back on top. 15. LSU threatening some pressure. Here's Netherly right here. You would want to target him, but LSU's going to protect him. Here's the blitz. Rushing five. Mack able to get out of there for the time being anyway. And did he get it away in time? 
Devin White was chasing him down. He's playing quarterback at LSU now. That's a win-win. Across the middle, Stephon Sullivan making people miss. Out beyond the 35-yard line. Which that was the worst loss for LSU. They were shut out by Bama 29 to nothing this season. The throw into the end zone. Touchdown, Justin Jefferson. What a throw by Joe Burrow. Second touchdown catch. That one's good for 33 yards and the six. It's really unbelievable what they've done in, in the past two years, both first-year head coaches. Here's Mack on the run. Forced out after the big game by Carrie Vincent. Starting college football, but for them to win this game, he's going to have to throw it. Trying to throw it there. Trying to hang on to the football for dear life. Jacoby Stevens gets to him. Going for it on fourth down. Going for it. It's batted up in the air. And it will fall heartlessly down to the turf. For the season for these two. Some bodies need some healing. Burrow just dumped that away. Joey Connors trying to chase him down. Spot foul, the loss it down. All the way back to the 13. Greg McCray, the ball carrier. Rashard Lawrence makes the stop for LSU. Very First down and 10 for LSU. Got the one timeout left. Here's Burrow off the play fake. And he will throw sideline. Jefferson cuts it in. And he'll be stopped short of midfield by Antoine Collier. Perfect conditions on the inside. Here's Burrow to throw. Little slant to Jamar Chase, who has definitely been a weapon. He's inside the 40, stopped by Richie Grant. Pressure from the outside, Burrow. Feels it on the backside, and lofts one. And too strong for Chase. Air mailed it, fourth down. UFC with just 85 yards of offense. Trying to put something together in these last two minutes. It's Kalubiali, the tight end. Got a medical hardship that allowed him to play a sixth year. And the only member of this team that saw the 2014 Fiesta Bowl without buying a ticket. That's Snelson on the receiving end. Back in this UCF offense. UCF has two timeouts remaining. Now he's in traffic, and he'll be dropped. Lawrence gets him. For them out, so the pass rush isn't so severe. Two seconds on the play clock. And they're looking over, and on purpose, they snap it directly to Greg McRae. So they pull out a little wrinkle there, UCF. It's time to catch their breath. Back to throw, across the middle. There it is, Gabriel Davis. Their hospital visits. 17 seconds left in the half. Here's Mack. Swallowed up by Rashard Lawrence. Again, his second sack. He can go to the other side of the field to protect that side. So you're not fooling the defense then no. at that point in the game. Here's Matt to throw. Steps up and fires back in the end zone. Davis is there for the touchdown. Gabriel Davis on the receiving end of a strike from Daryl Mack for 32 yards. It's a play. Third and two. Mack to try to throw for it. A slant inside. Got to stick with you for a long time. Yeah, you know that 24-hour rule about after a win or a loss? Forget it. They still haven't forgotten that loss. Here's Burrow underneath to his tight end. Foster Morrow, his first grab. And it Don't skip on the candy with that. <laughs> the popcorn. The brush your teeth a couple hundred times after it. Here's Brosette. Staying on his feet. What an effort by Nick Brosette. Set still needs another 23 yards for a thousand. Here's Burrow to throw. Loads up and fires. Got a wide open man. Caught for the touchdown. Jamar Chase. 32 yards for the score. They haven't been able to run the ball with any kind of consistency. Back the throw. And it skips off the turf. Dredrick Snelson could not come up with it. And again, that's still a Louisiana record for Nick Brosette. On third and six, Burrow steps and fires, able to complete the chase, who's become his go-to favorite target in this game, Jamar Chase, the first half. Set up the screen on third and 12 to Edwards-Alaire. 
picking up yardage, and he's going to come up a yard short. Antoine Collier. Out of the way. And it is good. Make for Gabriel Davis. Here's Mack. And he slips down. And slips right into Glenn Logan. Max Helmet comes off. Fun on the third corner for LSU. It's as simple as that. Three straight three and outs. Justin Jefferson loves the punt on a fair catch. It's picked up by UCF. Jacob Harris. It's definitely a fair catch. And fair catch. Definitely a muff punt. Oh, he slips. That's what happened. Yeah, that ruling on the field is that the kick was muffed by the receiving team and recovered by the kicking team. By rule, a kick cannot be advanced. It is first down and 10 for UCF from the spot of the recovery. Watch Kirkland one-on-one -on -one with Davis again. Back the throw, back of the end zone, and Davis can't haul that one in. For Milk is the Mortel Holder of the Year. In case you didn't know, they have an award for the Holder of the Year. I don't recognize those awards. You don't? Because you didn't win it probably when you held those one or two times. <laughs> right field goal is good. As always, our subject to change. Here's Burrow on third and nine to throw. Underneath for Dillon. Able to break free, stays on his feet. Derek Dillon already has a touchdown. Still on his feet. And picking up blocks along the way. Porter. LSU by 10, looking to add to that lead. Here's Edward Delaire. Inside the 30, stays on his feet and keeps on going. Pushing the pile. Burrow. Back corner of the end zone. Jefferson couldn't haul it in. It's field goals in a single season. This is from 28 yards. All the way. Here's Mack, steps up, and it's incomplete. I'm not sure they would have had the first down anyway. Burrow steps up, take another deep shot. Got a man. It's Sullivan. All the way down to the 10-yard line of UCF. The director, and Danny White, the athletic director from UCF. On the ground, it's Brosette again. There's no question for most field goals. 26 on the way and the senior transfer from assumption able to boot it through the incomplete pass 32 on the ground to Otis Anderson trying to pull away from some people and Devin White just won't have it Grant Delpit doesn't get kicked out of the game Joseph is there as well so is Ed Alexander and here's McCray knocked out of the three Taj McGowan in the backfield. It's McGowan. And he gets there for the score. Touchdown, UCF. Game on the line. Will set straight ahead. Won't get there. It will be fourth down. Pat Jasinski, third and ten. Good protection this time. He's got the time. Throws down the middle of the field. Bounces up in the air. And it is intercepted. Picked off by Jacoby Stevens, who will just go down with 20 seconds left. That should seal the deal for LSU.